Hey there everyone, Hitesh here and welcome back again to the JavaScript course. I hope you're enjoying, still have subscribed my channel. If not, hey, why are you waiting for it? Go ahead, subscribe the channel and visit Learn Code Online. Now this video is just about a challenge. We're gonna quickly have a challenge and we will be just writing that. No more learning. Yes, of course, we'll be doing that in the future videos. But as of now, we will be just learn, we'll be just refreshing whatever we have learned in the past. So let's get started. You will be creating a new file and in the file you'll be creating a simple function. Yes, just that's it, simple function. The role of the function is simply to take two inputs, your current marks and your total marks as well. It should be able to calculate the percentage and should be able to assign you grade. And the grades are really simple, usually what we do in the schools, uh, like uh, above 90 is gonna be A, above 80 it's gonna be B, above 70 it's gonna be C, and above 60 it's gonna be D, and probably if you wish you can have one more like uh, e as well above 50 and below 50 we're gonna just give an f for fail simply like that in case you're wondering where i'm getting these grades here is a simple tip that i want to give all of you a lot of people just directly start writing the code in front of computer sometimes you can get deviate from your objective about what you want to actually create so i always and always keep myself busy with these uh, to-do notes i always keep them in handy and always a pen or maybe an apple pen or something like that so that i can write down my each and every objective what i would really want to create eventually every big project is all about breaking down into smaller projects and then further smaller problems so that we can write it so i hope you got it in case you haven't that's the fun of videos. Go ahead previous and watch those steps that I mentioned and go ahead, create that. You can pause the video right now and within a few seconds, I'll be start writing the code in here. So I hope everybody paused in there just for a second and now let's go ahead and create a simple new function test, okay? So we're gonna be going into this intermediate and let's can call this as simple, hmm, this is gonna be uh, assign fun dot js because it's an assignment fun there we go we have simple in here so what we'll be writing is a simple function so first of all let's create a couple of like uh let's call this as get my grade or something like that and that is going to be equal to function pair of parentheses and that's it now there are other ways of writing the functions as well no big deal we can surely do that now this function is gonna be expecting two things and this is your current marks and your total marks, there we go. Okay, so now that we have got two variables which is gonna be passed up as soon as we will be uh, calling this function. So let's go ahead and first of all calculate the percentage. So let's my percent is going to be equal to so i hope everybody knows how to calculate the percentage it's really simple you have to first of all get your current marks you have to divide them by total marks and you have to multiply everything by 100 there we go so not at all a big deal the first part was pretty easy and i believe the second part is much more easier than this so we're going to be saying that we need a grade to be assigned so let's define a grade variable so let's call it as my grade and we're going to be initializing it with uh, nothing because i don't want to make any assumption for anybody that he's going to get that grade so it's going to be simply an empty and i'll be writing a lot of if else uh, statements so that we can assign them a particular uh, we can change this variable by the way and we'll be finally at the end we'll be returning the percent and the grade so as simple as it sounds so we're going to have an if statement and if statement is going to have a condition if you remember what I said, because I do have written that here. So um, we are gonna be calculating, you can either calculate it based on marks, but it's it makes much more sense to calculate it based on percentage. I'm gonna be doing that. So uh, probably I told you to do that based on marks, but anyways, uh, it's all fun, you can do that again. So we're gonna be simply saying if the percentage is greater than or maybe equal to 90%, uh, which is just 90, so we're gonna be moving inside that, we'll be changing the grade letter, the grade letter here. So we're gonna be saying my grade, and we're gonna be saying, hey, you got an A grade. Okay, so I hope everybody understood till here, and I am expecting everybody did it so far. Now we can simply write else, and then we can use if statements here. Conditions are gonna be almost same, so we can just copy it, save some time, copy that, paste that here, and it's gonna just change like that. Okay, I think it's the simplest thing we can have. 
and then we'll be changing it my grade actually changes out to B. So there we go. We have assigned for the greater than 90. We have got for greater than 80. I told you. Yep, it's B. And again, we can have, we can even copy this and can paste that as many times as you wish. And this time, if it is greater than like 70, it was a pretty easy assignment. Come on. I hope everybody was able to do it. So 70 and then probably 60. This is going to be like D. Now, totally, it's dependent on you that how many grades you want to assign or the question is asking you to do so. Pretty simple. And don't forget to do one last thing, which is a final else clause. Usually people does the same mistake here. In the else clause, we are just collecting like everything which is lower than 60. So we have to take care for that. And nothing much to do here. We can simply assign a, a regular grade here. Probably fail. Don't want to do that. But still, uh, we got that. Okay, so this is the part where all the function is done. Now, the only thing that is remaining is to return the two things, which is your percentage and grade. And uh, shouldn't be a big deal. So we can simply return that in here. So return and uh, we can either return it like that or we can use these amazing things and we can simply say your grade is and then the fancy stuff of dollar these guys and you can call this as my come on we can copy this and paste that here and percentage is and again use the fancy stuff and uh, did i call it my percent yep and there we go so that's it that's pretty much it and i think that's our function is completely ready i hope this was fun to make and again remember programming can only be learned by doing it so go ahead do that and now we have to call this function so that shouldn't be really tough so let your result is going to be equal to um what we call that get my grade get my grade and it requires two parameter to be passed on notice uh, current marks and total marks now we can pass on the current marks and although we have said like uh, we haven't taken any measure that although no anybody can pass on a string here as well we can take measures to make sure that only uh, integers can be passed on but we will be doing that later on probably not right here but just to mention this point that yes right now this is not a foolproof function anybody can pass on nobody is stopping them actually to pass on something like abc and there can be easy measures to have that and can have like prompt message or something like that but as of now i'm assuming everything is good and probably we got like a uh, uh, 92 and that is going to be coming up from out of 100 so there we go and uh, let's just log our your result and that's pretty much it let's just run this and i am hoping that i didn't made any typos there so we're going to be saying simply node and assign fun dot js and your grade is a and percentage is 92 pretty good and obviously and if i change it to like 200 and save that and run that again and i got drastically different percentage because now it's 200 so yeah and if i change it to something like probably 150 not like that obviously i'm gonna get fail in that so uh, there we go 61.33 now obviously uh, if somebody wants to take the things to the next level i would highly recommend to create this function in a such a way that only and only numbers can be passed on there are a couple of ways you can either initialize these or can have a simple if else check to check that type that is being passed on is it integer or not otherwise you can return a simple message saying hey you only need to pass on integers there so there are a lot of ways uh, nothing to be worried about right now at this point so this is your first assignment proper assignment that we have done in here now we'll be further moving on to the further topics and then again we'll be breaking down these assignments once in a while there so that's it for this video and i'm going to surely catch you up in the next one